What's going on, guys? Um, Dane from String Penguins, and um, today for Friday, I'm going to do a review Friday. Um, just a little quick update. Uh, me and Jack are both going to be buying uh, lacrosse gear for um, the new team we're joining, River City. Um, that should be fun, and um, we're going to review our gear as well and what we buy. Alright, so. Um, for the East Coast Mesh review I'm about to do, I'm going to go over a lot of things on how it's good. And, yeah, so let's get to it. It's uh, water resistant, so the water just, like, bubbles up on the mesh and just falls off once you, like, shake it around. It just flies right off, and none of the water gets into the mesh at all. So you're safe on that part. It holds its shape. As you can see, I got a pretty, uh, really defined mid pocket. And it holds its shape for, so I can uh, shift it down low to a low pocket. And not shift it high because this is a mid pocket and it's tied up here. So, yeah, you can move it all around the pocket and it will keep that shape unless you move it to um, somewhere else. So this is a nice mid pocket. Um, it's easy to stretch. Um, when I got this and sh uh, strung it up on the Superpower, I also strung it on my Lakota. Um, it's really easy to stretch. So you just pull it out. It takes no strength really at all to stretch this um, mesh out. Real nice. But it is a little sticky when you string it, but that's not too bad. It's not bad at all. All you have to do is wash your hands when you're done. So I wouldn't say that's a disadvantage. I would just say it's sticky. So it's easy to get nice channels. You can really get channels with this mesh. As you can see I got one there. No nice channel. Um, love it. Um, hopefully gonna buy some more mesh for a new my new Lakota that I'm gonna get. I'm either gonna get a fade. Carolina and neon or uh, stick with white so um, check out my other vids guys and subscribe see you later